S&P 500 index here now live at Sunday and the markets once again had a great rally off of the 2009 bottoms as we can see monthly on the S&P 500 we can also see where the 2007 reversal and the great uh, we can see clearly where the markets have wound up to the calendar year high and totally when you go back to 2008 as we were telling people up here at resistance to sell short we did and how right we were and we're down one calendar month two calendar months working on a new calendar June 1 of 2012 today's date is 6 3 of 2012 once again we're giving our big players and the people of the MMT once again we have talked off this video very thoroughly one of the things that we are going to show is where the current cycle this is what the picture looks like this is where the downtrend was broke in 2009 and that was the last part of that monthly selling we will tell you though throughout the years though that in a shorter time frame with the amount of stimulus is QE2 happened here on a monthly level and then we have the big 2011 short that we did and we came down and it was time to buy that S&P at 1075 and so far as I blow this up for the MMTs as we are clearly been short but now we're looking at getting net long off of these bottoms when we take a look at the monthly level yes you are going from a monthly bull transfer back into where all of the monthly gains in 2012 are slightly negative when when you when when we dissect what this monthly chart means to the MMTs I will say the following once again it's an S&P 500 and right now we're negative three quarters delta down at 0 0.75 ratio which is 55.96 handles below the even mark between the bull and the bear so the bear now is in control of that S&P right now by 55.96 handles that's the beginning bear print that we have within this time cycle of where we left off of calendar 2011 with the European um, European problems and then their great resolutions but see what wound it up has also wound it right down that means that the calendar gains are gone and when we were shorting up here at the highs on that monthly level you can see here in the background from a weekly level now that the weekly bull that that we always talk about has to there are bull and there are bear trends within the yearly cycles so let us be very coherent that showing you the weekly level is when that blue line the 10 week was rising that's where your bull was but back over here in calendar 2011 when you close four weeks below the blue line the 10 week moving average four consecutive weeks below it and it's going down those are called bear trends and then you have to get above it but right now what has happened in this bull the short term calendar high bull that we were getting net short up here at the highs we would ran that long course but look at the monthly reversal weekly monthlies are versus the monthly look at your weekly five-day selling periods look at the 10-week moving average going down in descending D minus value which means that you are in a one two three four five weeks below the 10 week that is called a bear trend it is the beginning of the foot stamp of the bear and I will be happy to show you that this whole area this whole bottom area at 1258 is right here where that hundred week moving average is with the beginning of new bull rallies and then the bear rallies come into play and you go from bull to bear cycles is where do you land and get support well the European news has to get better Ben Bernanke Mr. Geithner and Mr. Obama better be making some phone calls this weekend and help in and the Fed better be figuring out how they're going to open up that 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 channel 
and where that banking system is going to end up because you see the resolutions that were being made over here with worldwide leaders remember nothing had ever changed this was a nice rally up and a lot of shorts were coming off and look at you put in the calendar high it was failing we got short it's working but now we're going to reach a level of where we get support MMT and I can tell you that right now we would be looking at 1258 on the lower level depending on how the futures open up tomorrow if there is any resolutions or not if there is not then we will sell down lower right now I can tell you between that bull and between the bear reversal both that the bear is weighted by 55 points on this index period and you all know why MMTs because you were looking at the systems now having said that we could go down if there's no resolution and the people aren't going to perform over the resolution of the banking crisis where the run on the banks have been happening you this whole rally you can go right back down into here 2011 lows that's a this is where that up weekly bar started that's at 1158 on the S&P here's that 1206 handle this is going to be crucial because this is where we ended up on great you know people were buying ahead of time at pull back then they bought then they gapped it up it never looked back until price diminishing called price exhaustion happened and this is where we had to get net 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 short and like we said bear and bull cycles are manufactured through media and the belief of people who are involved in the market right now they don't have a gain and this is where it's led to exactly where we said that this 1278 would come to however it's very coherent to understand have the coherency to understand that when you close one week two week three weeks four weeks and you were closing below it and when that blue line the 10 week goes down in value that means that the markets are extremely weak and what it means is is that there is a bear in the market now when where before that bull was fighting for these tops over here on a weekly level but could not hold them and this was your you know this is where price diminishing was happening that means that the upside was limited because all the money was in and you were at the top top end of the market you pull back like always just like we did right here and then we come up and we test them and then we start with that weekly selling and that's when we kept telling all our MMTs that were making great trades and that stocks and equities and indexes would go a lot lower within this bull has turned into a calendar 2012 bear that's on the S&P 500. One of the things we'll be looking for, like I said, on the S&P 500 is where that full delta down, depending on how the futures open up tomorrow, which would be 6-4-2012, we will take a look at 1258. If we undercut that 1258 and we sell down from where the close was, okay, and the close was on the S&P 1278.04, down 32.29 handles. Now, every rally works with the bull process and every rally gets overbought but now the contagion is in the market and everybody's bull has changed into pessimism they have every right to do that it's going to take some work and some policy changes but I can tell you how how things are set up and they're set up the following way if we come down and hit support here at this 100 week moving average and we continue to stay above here this is where the weekly bull cycle was on this right here and now you can see the same descending value on this public indicator it's a public indicator our systems are quite different than what the public looks at because we're able to manage these great runs to the highs and then shorting these reversals to these support levels and where these support levels would hold now when we look at in our system if things were to fail and they do not do the right thing and who are they they better get that international or worldwide banking system where people don't put run on the banks because if they do then we sell down and we can go right back into a bear sell signal it's possible it depends on what the policymakers want to do and growth is contracted as we said they walk these markets up to all-time highs knowing that Europe was a problem as we've always said knowing that 
this rally would give it up and test it. Now we're right back where it all started. And what's going to end up happening, if there isn't any resolution by midnight tonight, then tomorrow morning we would open up. There's going to have to be some talk about QE3. There's going to have to be talk now that they can sell that. This is where all of the gains and the 10-year yield is at, buddy, it's at, you have to go back before World War II to see where those yields are on the 10-year. But nonetheless, the S&P 500 does have good yielding stocks in it. So if the people can get more yield in the S&P 500, then we'll, when we come down and test a lower support level, we'll look and see what happens between the public buyer and seller. And not only that, we've totally gone over everything about our call side and our put side strategies on the S&P 500 index on weekly and monthly expiration. One of the things that I want to tell my MMTs, as always, is how do I get the top end of the reversals? When I take my rallies, you got to be sellers. And the thing about it is, is it's come back to roost the bull. And it's at critical mass levels with slightly more bear than bull throughout this whole calendar 2012. And we look forward to making money. If we break lower, then we'll let the shorts keep running. And we'll find out what policymakers are going to do. We'll find out what Mr. Bernanke is going to do about QE3 and a whole lot of other things that need to be done. Not to mention about where is that money supply around the world. This is where half of that rally started, right here to that top, back here. And that was at a certain time of calendar 2011. This is where that run is. That means that that support level is down here. And we could easily come back if we were to break down into another contagion of selling. We could easily undercut that uh, 1250 area. And our price target was on the pullback that you would come down and test the yearly bull cycle with a yearly reversal bear cycle as they always do in every calendar year just like we did last year and the year before that's why that report that you need to get so that you know when to sell at the high is well worth the money because making your decisions based on this expert analysis and how the reversals were going to happen between the bear and the bull on the S&P that gives you all the more reason to follow us but we do have very sophisticated offline analysis that we do not publish, but for those who wish to subscribe.